figured I would just walk around a little bit and try to see if he wasn't, I don't know, just somewhere around. So I walked around the campsite and I couldn't find him. And then I heard a noise down by the creek, which was just like a little bit down from the campsite. There was like this small creek and running water. And I heard something that sounded like, I don't know, a person talking. So I went down there. over kind of like squatting like this and like staring at the creek and as soon as I saw him like my heart just like leapt in my chest and I knew that something was not something felt very wrong that there was something just strange about the situation and I walked towards him and once I was about five feet away suddenly he turned his face and it was totally just burned everywhere. His whole face was burned. And then he just kind of like started to reach towards me. And I just, I turned, I turned around immediately and I ran. And I ran back to the tent. And when I got back, my dad was outside of the tent, freaking out. And he was like, where were you? And I was just like crying and screaming. And so the whole campsite woke up and I was just telling him that there's this kid, there's this kid who hurt himself. And I kept saying that over and over, he hurt himself, he hurt himself down by the creek. Um, so everybody went 